With the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most sophisticated telescope ever constructed, we now have the means to investigate the possibility of extraterrestrial life. As we direct our attention to the nearest star system, Proxima Centauri, which is only four light years away, scientists have made an astounding discovery. Among the planets orbiting this distant star, Proxima B exhibits strange anomalies and artificial lights that defy explanation. These amazing illuminations have baffled the scientific community, experts, and sparked speculation about the possible presence of intelligent life. Join us as we explore the groundbreaking revelations made by JWST's observation of city lights that contradict our understanding of the universe. American astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson initiated the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI project in 1984. This nonprofit endeavor aims to detect spaceborne radio signals, leveraging the unique capabilities of the Allen Telescope Array nestled in the Californian Cascade Mountains. Despite three decades of diligent observation, no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial communication has emerged. After that, the success of JWST's launch aided in the quest to examine a range of distances and undiscovered planets orbiting far-off stars. The largest telescope in the world, which is floating roughly a million miles from Earth and outfitted with incredibly sensitive detectors, will be used. 20 years ago, there were no known planets outside those in our solar system. But since then, more than 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered orbiting other stars. According to NASA, the universe may contain trillions of exoplanets. The earliest signs of life beyond our solar system may be found in extraterrestrial plant life. While traveling to Jupiter, the Galileo spacecraft turned its instruments back toward Earth and discovered a clear sign of plant life. When sunlight crosses a planet star, JWST may be able to detect it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. The instrument detected the vegetation red edge, which is a mixture of red and infrared lights reflected by plants. For example, a planet like Earth covered in a jungle should have a strong and easy to detect red edge. JWST will measure the red edge of far-off Earth-like planets in the habitable zone around stars, which could be significant signs of life in the exoplanet's atmosphere. Spectroscopy would next be used to identify the light's missing wavelengths. Atoms and molecules in the atmosphere absorb particular wavelengths, resulting in a distinctive fingerprint that JWST can identify. This technique can be used to ascertain the atmosphere's composition and the possibility of life. It is conceivable that life could exist on planets the size of Earth that have atmospheres comparable to our own, with a predominance of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. One might be able to identify technological life by searching for components that aren't often present, such as fluorocarbon chloride. Even earthly life, such as extremophile species, can appear alien at times. These species are a group of bacteria that can survive in environments where other living things would perish. CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, generated for use in refrigeration and cleaning products, would probably be noticeable to aliens monitoring Earth's atmosphere from a distance. If JWST found CFCs in planetary atmospheres, that would be a clear indication of civilization. Some people can survive in strong acids with pH values below 3, while others can tolerate temperatures as low as 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Some people can even withstand heat up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. While some can be found on Earth in locations where we would not expect to find any life at all, it could be a smart idea to start with those first because planets like Earth are more likely to host life than planets with extreme temperatures or acidic conditions. Ideal contenders might orbit a stable star at temperatures that permit liquid water to exist on their surfaces. Our Sun is classified as a yellow G-type star, which is less frequent and usually has a shorter lifespan in our universe. Red dwarf stars are more common than other stars and have lower temperatures and luminosities than the Sun. Because of their longer lifespans, roughly 40 billion years, there is more time for the formation of life and evolution to produce complex life forms on these planets, increasing the likelihood of studying planets orbiting around these stars. The initial mission of JWST will focus on a single planetary system that has seven rocky planets the size of Earth orbiting a quiet red dwarf star. It is possible that the surfaces of three of the rocky planets in the so-called habitable zone contain liquid water. Because of its planet's confined orbits, a single star emits light identical to our suns, 
although having a considerably smaller and cooler mass. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star 425 light years from the sun, is the best place for humans to see city lights outside of the solar system. Proxima Centauri is our nearest star and is approximately 600 times fainter than the sun, meaning that a planet must be 20 times closer to it than Earth is to the sun in order for it to support life based on liquid water. A planet with three times the mass was found by researchers in August 2016 in this habitable zone, which resembles a Goldilocks zone with light intensity just right to melt water. Given that Proxima b orbits its red dwarf star Proxima Centauri at a distance of only 46 million miles, it is possible that the planet is an airless, lifeless body. Proxima b is exposed to strong solar winds that have the power to completely destroy its atmosphere, but it also receives enough sunlight to maintain temperatures and liquid water that are comparable to those on Earth. Because of its close proximity to Proxima, it is believed to be tidally locked, always appearing on the same side of the star as the Moon does with respect to Earth. Proxima Centauri, which is roughly 18% of the mass of the Sun, burns far less brightly than one might expect for a planet that is only 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, which is likely to be a red-hot planet. Since only 65% of Earth's energy comes from the Sun, liquid water could easily exist on Proxima b as long as the planet has an atmosphere to heat it. However, Proxima b is not particularly friendly to life. It is most likely tidally locked, meaning that it always faces the same direction toward the star and creates permanent day and night sides with significant temperature changes. Because of its proximity to Proxima Centauri, the planet also receives 100 times as much high-energy radiation as Earth, including X-rays and ultraviolet light. Proxima b is also bombarded with high-energy particles during star flare-ups. Unless it has a shielding magnetic field similar to Earth's, Proxima b is not very hospitable. However, there are certain realistic conditions that could make it a pleasant world. Sadly, models suggest that the atmosphere of tidally locked planets may be susceptible to a rapid collapse due to the freezing out of volatile gases on the night side. A planet's atmosphere can be replenished by volcanic activity, and for planets with strong magnetic fields, this atmosphere is less likely to escape. Because we don't know anything about Proxima's volcanic activity or magnetic field strength, we can't even guess whether or not the planet has an atmosphere. But since an atmosphere presupposes the existence of oceans, and the two taken together presuppose the existence of life, we are desperate to know if Proxima b has a sophisticated civilization. It might have solar panels covering the day side to generate electricity to light and warm the night side, which would otherwise be too cold and dark for comfortable habitation. The discovery of Proxima b has triggered a race to determine if it transits its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would let scientists determine the planet's size and mass, which would then enable them to determine its density. Knowing that would validate the planet's rocky makeup and provide information on the materials used to create those rocks. During a transit, by traveling through the planet's atmosphere, starlight may reveal information about it, but only 15% of the time would the orbit be in the proper alignment for scientists to see a transit, and the tendency of stars to flare further complicates matters. The star is tricky, according to Columbia University astronomer David Tipping, because its heat causes rocky planets like Proxima b to absorb sunlight and radiate infrared light. But rocky planets also produce a different kind of infrared radiation from stars. Additionally, JWST was built specifically to study infrared light, which is key to determining Proxima b's atmosphere through its infrared heat signature. Moreover, because water is strongly attracted to this part of the spectrum, JWST will be able to see city lights on Proxima b's night side even if they are as dim as those that our civilization uses on Earth's night side. Due to the distinctive spectral edge's capacity to reflect as Proxima rotates around its star, we could detect artificial illumination as long as it was limited to a frequency band that is 1,000 times narrower than the stars. Proxima b's day side is heavily coated with solar panels. Day and night are identical, with cool evening lows following daytime highs. The temperature difference between the day and night sides of Proxima b will depend on whether or not the planet is made entirely of bare rock, because both the ocean and atmosphere conduct heat. In other words, if Proxima b lacks an atmosphere, the day and night sides will differ more in temperature. In fact, because the day side of Proxima Centauri radiates all of the energy it receives from the planet as a black body, 
we can determine the exact amount of black body radiation that should be present on the night side. On the other hand, the night side will appear as a frozen version of hell. In the event that Proxima B has an atmosphere, it will only take JWST 10 to 20 Earth days to measure the radiation from its two faces after it has successfully completed its orbit around the star. If the temperature difference between day and night is less pronounced, we can infer the presence of an atmosphere. Conveniently, the next step will be to examine its composition for any gas present. To do this, however, we must successfully capture starlight as it bounces off or travels through the planet's atmosphere, which is a very difficult task. JWST can only closely examine a few of the closest potentially habitable worlds because it was not designed to look for extraterrestrial life. Additionally, it is limited to tracking changes in the atmospheric concentrations of methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Oxygen, water vapor, and methane, in particular, could indicate the existence of habitable circumstances, if not actual living things. Even if some combinations of these gases may be suggestive of life, JWST is unable to detect the presence of unbonded oxygen, which is the greatest indication of life. Ozone may be among the substances that JWST is capable of detecting. Until those telescopes are operational, the extremely large telescope is scheduled to begin operation in the middle of the 2020s, making it one of the ground-based observatories that will be able to conduct a thorough atmospheric investigation. In 10 years, JWST might offer data that will be relevant to us. In the meantime, even more potent space telescopes might use cutting-edge methods to block the blinding brightness of the host star and reveal the planet's reflected starlight. Future space telescopes employing big exterior umbrella-shaped filters or tiny interior masks could capture the planet's reflected starlight. It is significantly simpler to study light reflecting off a planet. Sadly, non-biological processes can also produce the majority of the gas released by terrestrial life. Both cows and volcanoes emit the gas methane. In the process of looking for extraterrestrial life, sunlight also uses photosynthesis to change water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. As a result, some false positives for alien life are inevitable. To determine whether a planet of interest geology or atmospheric processes could resemble a biosignature and help rule out false positives, astronomers need to have a solid grasp of the world. The next round of exoplanet studies might yield the convincing proof needed to prove that life exists. The initial data from JWST provides us with a sneak peek at the major breakthroughs that are yet to come. One of science's most important questions is whether there is life elsewhere in the universe or if we are the only species on a lonely planet in deep space. In either case, major philosophical and psychological shifts among people will probably be required for the eventual resolution. For a very long time, humans have entertained fantastical ideas about the possibility of life on far-off celestial bodies. These ideas have been stimulated by both scientific research and science fiction. But it wasn't until the advent of groundbreaking technological marvels like the James Webb Space Telescope that the tantalizing possibilities of life in a universe became more tangible. JWST stands as a beacon of human ingenuity, representing the pinnacle of observational prowess. With its unparalleled capabilities, it promises to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, allowing us to peer farther into the universe than ever before. Armed with this technological marvel, scientists set their sights on the closest star system to our own, Proxima Centauri, situated a mere four light years away. This cosmic neighbor beckons with the allure of discovery. Within the Proxima Centauri system lies Proxima B, a planet shrouded in mystery and intrigue. It is here that scientists have detected anomalous phenomena, artificial lights casting doubt upon the conventional wisdom of a barren expanse. These enigmatic illuminations have confounded even the most brilliant minds within the scientific community, sparking fervent speculation about their origins and implications. Could these artificial lights be harbingers of intelligent life lurking amidst the cosmic abyss? The very notion sends shockwaves through the scientific establishment, challenging long-held assumptions about humanity's place in the universe. As researchers grapple with this profound question, JWST stands poised to unravel the mysteries of Proxima B, offering glimpses into the unknown and potentially reshaping our understanding of life's cosmic prevalence.
But the search for extraterrestrial intelligence extends far beyond the confines of our cosmic backyard. Since time immemorial, humans have gazed skyward, pondering the existence of kindred spirits among the stars. This quest for cosmic companionship found renewed vigor with the inception of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI, project, spearheaded by visionary astronomers Jill Tarter and Tom Pearson in 1984. Armed with an array of cutting-edge technologies and using radio telescopes to comb across the vastness of space in search of elusive signals, SETI aims to search the cosmos for indications of intelligent life. However, despite decades of ceaseless labor, the cosmic stillness endures, forcing humanity to confront the void. As JWST embarks on its odyssey of discovery, it carries with it the aspirations of generations past and presents a beacon of hope in a universe teeming with possibility. From the crimson shores of Proxima B to the distant reaches of uncharted galaxies, it stands as a testament to humanity's boundless curiosity and unyielding spirit of exploration. The haunting possibility of solitude in the universe enters with JWST as the sentinel of humanity's insatiable curiosity, poised to pierce the veil of cosmic anonymity and shed light on the enigmatic realms beyond our own. Even though our technology is limited, the vastness of space nevertheless poses a significant challenge in the face of uncertainty. Standing on the brink of discovery, humanity persists because of an inbuilt yearning to solve the universe's riddles and reveal the truths about ourselves. JWST reminds us of our common humanity and our joint journey to the stars.